Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the brand new append skill and servant coins that were added during the sixth anniversary for Fate's Grand Order. What are these new servant coins? Servant coins are new items that can either unlock append skills, also known as new passive skills, or you can increase your servant's level cap to 120. In my eyes, this is a new system for whales and hardcore farmers that casual players don't really need to worry about this at all. I'll get into more details about what I mean by that later in this video. First, let's talk about the append skills. Once again, append skills are basically brand new passive skills. In order to unlock an append skill, you pay 120 servant coins. After you unlock the append skill, you can now level up the skill by using QP and material items. Max level for these append skills are 10. I'll go ahead and use Hulksite as an example here. So as you can see, we have three different uh, append skills and uh we're gonna go ahead and unlock the uh, middle one because i actually personally think this is the best append skill out of the three so we're gonna go ahead and use 120 and as you can see this is the animation the coins go there and then we officially unlock a append skill so of course the higher the level of the append skill the more uh, percentage you get so basically uh, I'll be starting off with 10% MP with this skill here but if I max level it to 20 or I'm sorry to 10 it'll be 20% so as you can see again there's three different append skills each servant have two of the same append skills the first one is the same and the second one is the same everyone has those first one is basically extra damage with the extra attack and then the second one is going to be mp battery basically at the start of battle now the third skill is the i guess you can say unique one um, basically uh, some servants can do more damage against specific servants for example hoxai here she can do uh, twenty percent more attack damage to berserkers. Some servants actually have more critical damage against specific classes, kind of thing. In my opinion, again, I think the second append skill is the best one because it allows your servants to start off with some MP at the start of battle. And again, twenty percent is the max it can go. And if you have a kaleidoscope, you can take advantage of that uh, non-max limit break, of course. And of course, Sanzo. A servant like herself can use her battery to get 100% MP right off the bat. They are just bonus skills, so again, you don't have to rush to level these up. In order to increase your servant's level cap to 120, you'll need servant coins, of course, but you'll also still need grails and QP to increase the level cap. As you can see here, you need one grail, 30 coins, and 10 million QP just to increase two more levels. Of course, as you keep leveling, it'll ask for more. So how many coins do you need to fully unlock the append skills and level up your servants to 120? So in order to fully unlock the append skills and level up your servants to 120, you need a total of, I believe, 9 copies of the same servant. So basically 9 MP. If you level up your servants bond to 5, you need at least 7 to 8 copies of the same servant. If you level up your servants bond to 15, you only need six copies of the same servant. So once again, this is a brand new system for whales and hardcore farmers. You do not need to worry about these skills at all if you are a casual player. You still will be able to defeat bosses, challenge quests, and three turn farm perfectly fine without these. Of course, we are still in the early stages of this new system, so there is a possibility that things might change in the future, but for now, it's definitely not something you need to rush on. So what do you guys think about this new servant coin and append skills? Comment down below and tell me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!